the stadium and its residents have experienced several significant events since the war. In 2180, the Commonwealth Minutemen defended the city from an attacking horde of super mutants, causing the militia's rise to prominence. The broken mask incident that occurred 50 years later, in 2229, had a far more lasting impact. A visitor named Mr. Carter suddenly opened fire at a centrally located Diamond City bar, killing several citizens. After Diamond City security took him down, an examination of his remains revealed that he was a synth. This single incident planted seeds of fear that eventually blossomed into full-scale paranoia about the Institute and its abductions. Since the event, the fear has only escalated due to regular and unexplained disappearances that have persisted for over half a century. The city continued to grow despite these troubles, affecting the Commonwealth in many ways. One of its more dubious contributions is Good Neighbor, a settlement founded in 2240 by a group of criminals banished from the city, who quickly turned the new town into a haven for activities frowned upon in Diamond City. In 2272, a new restaurant named Power Noodles was established in the city market, with a protectron known as Takahashi at the helm. The restaurant rapidly became a staple of Diamond City culture. Piper Wright and her sister Nat also immigrated to the city to found Public Occurrences, a newspaper dedicated to changing the city for the better. Her activism has galvanized support for fixing the city's problems, such as corruption among the Diamond City security officers, poorly maintained infrastructure, and lack of maintenance on the wall separating the city from the wasteland. Diamond City fell prey to a surge of anti-Ghoul sentiment, fanned by mayoral candidate McDonough and his anti-Ghoul mankind for McDonough platform. He won the election thanks to the votes of the upper stand citizens, and issued the anti-Ghoul decree of 2282 in his inaugural speech. The resulting pogrom was carried out by people the ghouls once called their neighbors, and saw entire families thrown out of the city into the surrounding ruins to perish. The ghouls' abandoned belongings were confiscated by the remaining humans, pacifying the poorer residents of the field. Five years later, in 2287, McDonough remains in power, posing as the city's defender while secretly ensuring the city does not interfere with the Institute's plans. As an infiltrator, he is very capable in his role, although his cover is starting to fray at the edges. Some residents have come to believe McDonough has been replaced by a synth, a suspicion spread by Piper and Nat as part of their investigative journalism.